Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, what's this green thing in the calendar? Today, I'm going to be diving into a new Evernote feature called Evernote Calendar. And it's not a massive update, but it's an interesting update to their calendar experience, allowing you to create a calendar event inside of Evernote, which does change your perspective on whether the feature is helpful for organizing ahead. You don't need Google. You don't need Microsoft 365. Evernote are making it easier for calendar events to be added to notes. Let's explore it and see whether it's right for you or to update you on an Evernote feature that you are not using right now. So welcome everyone. My name is Francesco. I am very excited to do, be here. I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, if you're new here, subscribe to Keep Productive for more videos on productivity software. But if you're in the hunt for productivity tools, jump over to Toolfinder and you'll find everything there. So there's a new ability in Evernote um, called, well, there's a, a couple of new features, which is quite good, like files and tasks, but we're looking at the calendar ability. And now you may notice this here, Evernote Calendar. It's its own area. I have a one Google Workspace and one Google Gmail account connected, which bring in my calendar items. And you can see those calendar items here and they can be brought into the system. However, you can now add Microsoft 365 if you didn't know, but now you can also add a new event inside of Evernote. And if I press new event, it connects to Evernote calendar. And let's see what this very, it looks like. It's let's just do meeting with Carl and press create event. But I'm gonna go ahead and add it for tomorrow at 11 a.m and press create. Now, if I scroll ahead to tomorrow, you can see this nice green event has appeared. And if I go and press add note or create note, then I can go ahead and either link it to something that's already in the content or delete that event and go ahead and create content. Now this works very similar to creating a new calendar event for a Google calendar, but it doesn't rely on Google calendar, which means that it lives within your Evernote account as a separate experience. Now, one of the things that you had to previously do is you had to have a Google calendar event inside of Evernote like this, to actually even add something, which was a bit of a pain because say you wanted something that wasn't an event, something that was coming up like a journal entry or even a daily note, which you can add as an all day event or potentially just a personal note that you didn't add to your calendar. Well, this now will do that for you. For example, in this one, it'll open up and allow you to take a note in as part of the account with these new header drop downs. That's a nice little time saver. So this is a new addition as part of Evernote and you can see that they're rolling it out up in the top right hand corner. You can see it as a list or you can see as a timeline. But Evernote has stated in their recent blog post about how they're going to try and weave tasks in here as well. Don't know how that's going to look, but I think what they're trying to do as a concept is test the water on whether a feature like this is helpful combining everything in one. Now their tasks area is not updated for me, but you can start to see you'll be able to get a full page on tasks and have a much more metadata that you can add to your tasks that you've got in there. But they've also taking that concept for files as well. So you can see that files is now its own separate experience in Evernote. So largely, this is an interesting update for Evernote and something that just continues to enhance experience that people are viewing. I've just filmed a full video that outlines whether Evernote is a, a go-to note-taking application in 2024. It will be out in a few weeks or a few uh, days after this video, but a very interesting update. Um, pointing towards some of their Twitter account sign of stuff, you can see that this is the new tasks experience that they're rolling out and you can see how much more detail they've got. Project, a sign note I think was before, and you've also got the ability to add more detail to priority levels as well. So again, you can start to see the concepts coming together. Even things like pinned notes in notebook was not available. Um, I even commented the other day saying something like, swear that you had to do this with reminders in the past and it'd be a little bit messy. Now I'm not saying in this video that Evernote is this be all and end all note taking application. I'm just proud to see some updates. Over the last two months, they've rolled out updates at least every single a week which is impressive and I'll include some more details about where I think it's heading in the future over on Toolfinder's opinion page which I'll be continuing to update so find that linked below. So thank you very much folks I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of how to use the new Evernote calendar it's not really a calendar feature it's more just a better way to take notes and associate them to dates in Evernote. So thank you very much I look forward to seeing you in a future video do subscribe and jump over to Toolfinder if you're in a hunt for a productivity tool. Thank you very much folks and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can check out another video here on YouTube diving into productivity tools. But if you did want to, you can jump over to Toolfinder to discover any productivity tools, which will be linked here as well. We have a resource of over 250 productivity tools and growing, and naturally there are reviews, insights, and much more. So do check it out below, but thank you very much for watching this video.